Well, hi friends, welcome back again to the channel. So, for today's video, I'm doing a review for a really, really special and fantastic fragrance from the company Zara. Uh, it is called Zara Vertiver Pamplemousse. This one uh, belongs to a certain line of uh, fragrances launched by the company Zara last year. Uh, that is called Zara Emotions or the Zara Emotions line. So the company Zara uh, collaborated with uh, the famous perfumer Joe Malone and uh, together they created this line of fragrances. So beside Zara Vetiver Pomplemousse we also have Bohemian Bluebells, uh, Water Lily Tea Dress, Fleur de Patchouli, Amalfi Sunray that it is believed to be a clone of uh, Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino and there is also a couple of other fragrances in this line. So this line is uh, most known to be uh, unisex fragrances, so for both women and uh, men, and also known to be really natural smelling uh, fragrances. And uh, for uh, Zara Vetiver Pomplemousse that I'm doing a review of today, in my opinion, this fragrance has the most natural grapefruit scent that I ever smelled in any other fragrance, like overall, not just uh, Zara fragrances. So uh, yes, uh, this fragrance Zara Vetiver Pomplemousse was launched in 2019. The perfumer uh, that uh, created this fragrance, as I said earlier, is uh, the famous perfumer Joe Malone. Uh, for the uh, main accords for this fragrance, I would say citrusy, fresh and also uh, woody. For the notes, uh, we don't really have much. So as uh, cited on the Zara website and other websites, in the notes we have a grapefruit, mandarin and a vetiver, even though me and many other people, I believe that there is a little bit more than just these thro uh, three uh, notes. I believe uh, there is like uh, an orange note as well and also like some sort of tangerine note uh, also. So uh, yeah, as I said earlier, this is the most natural grapefruit scent that I ever smelled and uh, really a high high quality. Uh, sorry to say it that way and uh, this was actually uh, inspired by a fragrance uh, from the house Hermes and it is uh, actually an eau de cologne an EDC concentration this fragrance uh, this fragrance is called Hermes uh, eau de pomplemousse rose or eau de pomplemousse rose by Hermes but in my opinion yes they smell so very similar but in my opinion vetiver pomplemousse by Zara is much better than the Elmes one. I never really thought that I would say this in any video but uh, to I mean to say that the Zara fragrance uh, that it is a clone to a certain other uh, designer fragrance is much better but this one is really much better than the first uh, fragrance that inspired it. Uh, especially when it comes to the performance, this one, uh, Vetiver Pomplemousse, performs even better. Uh, especially that uh, Eau de Pomplemousse Rose is an EDC concentration, as, and as we all know, colognes or Eau de Colognes really don't last that much. So, uh, yes, how does this fragrance smell like? Zara Vetiver Pomplemousse, uh, I mean, from the first initial spray, you get a really uh, loud. I would say loud, yes, loud blast of citruses with a freshly cut uh, grapefruit type of vibe, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, but the citruses are not sharp, yes, a little, I would say a little bit tingly, a little bit sparkling, uh, not really very acidic, I would say a little bit acidic, but natural natural smelling there is no type of synthetic uh, vibe or synthetic smell in this fragrance from start to beginning and uh, yeah it doesn't really have that uh, cheap DNA that you, you might find in uh, a majority of Zara fragrances I'm not saying all Zara fragrances have that cheap DNA but this one uh, really don't uh, have it also no synthetic vibe at all it smells like a higher quality type of fragrance especially when it comes to Zara fragrances this one has I mean the ingredients you can tell from first spray that the ingredients are higher quality this just proves that Zara really took the next step uh, in making their fragrances uh, you can really also say that this fragrance has like some sort of niche type of quality as well so yes after that blast of citruses and with that 
grapefruit uh, vibe. You start getting some sort of uh, tangerine uh, nuances, also some orange nuances uh, combined with it. Then uh, you start uh, getting a really sweet type of mandarin. I would say a little bit sour, but at the same time really sweet. Then uh, at the dry down, the vetiver uh, shows up, but the vetiver in this one is not really that uh, dominant. I would say it is a little bit soft and smooth, but it remains present from uh, the dry down to the very end. Uh, overall, it is really a beautiful, beautiful, uh, lovely uh, grapefruit scent. The grapefruit, it, it just gets uh, more beautiful uh, minute after minute show, showing up and the true character of this fragrance shows up even more and gets a little bit more uh, lovelier. This fragrance is fresh, refreshing, delightful, cheerful, very very natural, uh, perfect, really perfect for summer and it is actually my number one choice for summer it's really uh, it is in the very first place and I, i'm uh, by the way i'm doing a top 10 video for zara's uh, fragrances for summer and uh, this one will be uh, in that top 10 so definitely guys stay tuned for that video so uh, yes why i didn't buy this fragrance i was actually very close to getting it but uh, I mean, after a little bit, uh, I mean, a little chat with the lady that works uh, in the Zar store, she told me that uh, wait a little bit until like le uh, next uh, weekend and the prices will go a little bit, uh, I mean, they will drop the prices. For now, the 40 ml costs like $23 around that price and uh, the 90 ml costs uh, something around um, 33 dollars so i guess uh, next week i mean after that 40 percent reduction maybe it will uh, maybe it will get uh, i mean for the 90 ml bottle it will get like 25 dollars and uh, around that price i heard there is maybe an uh, 100 ml and 120 ml sizes but i'm not sure about that the only ones that i know of as you saw from the beginning of the video only ones are uh, I mean that I've seen are the 40 ml and the 90 ml so uh, yes for the versatility I would say this fragrance is only perfect I mean it is very perfect for summer I don't really see it for any other uh, time maybe sometimes when it's hot during spring maybe sometimes when it's hot during autumn but it is a really perfect perfect and it suits summer uh, I don't see it also for the night but more for uh, the day and uh, for uh, an age range uh, the age range I can say any man of any age and any woman or any man of any age can definitely wear this fragrance but I have this vision maybe I would say that uh, people uh, above 28 years old it will suit them even more I don't really see teenagers and people in their early 20s wearing this type of fragrance but uh, I mean if you're a younger person if you are around that age early 20s and something like that I mean if you try it if you find it that it suits you very well I mean go for it who am I to stop you so what about the performance uh, let me put it this way I sprayed uh, the second time when I tried this fragrance I sprayed it on my hand and also on my forearm uh, after six hours and a half to seven hours okay seven hours I couldn't smell it on my hand anymore while I still smell it very well on my forearm uh, ten hours later I still smell it the next day I would say 20 hours later I could still smell it but very very weak I could still smell it on my forearm and uh, yeah I would say that the performance with the uh, Zara Vetiver Pomplamousse is a little bit more than average a little, bo a little bit more than moderate uh, it is longer lasting than so many other Zara fragrances uh, like for example Zara Lisboa uh, but it is not really a loud fragrance it's not like a beast mode or projecting type of fragrance uh, I would say the sillage is a little bit also a little bit more than moderate it is noticeable uh, people can definitely notice uh, notice it on you they can smell it and it is definitely a compliment getter as well so do I recommend this fragrance I definitely do I highly highly recommend you this fragrance but as I always say try it before buying it 
but really, I mean, in my opinion, this is a solid release from the company Zara, especially for its natural uh, smell, its natural vibe, especially for its, uh, I would say, higher quality ingredients, higher quality composition. The blend in this fragrance, it is, I mean, it is perfectly blended, very, very well balanced. Joe Malone really did an extraordinary job with this, uh, with this release. So, uh, for my final rating for this fragrance, I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. I really love this fragrance and it is definitely in my top 10 best Zara fragrances and also it is the number one in my top 10 uh, summer fragrances from the company Zara. So yes, I guess uh, this is it for our video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Stay tuned for the video where I'm gonna uh, get uh, this fragrance and do an unboxing. Maybe I will get uh, other fragrances from that line, the Zara Emotions line. So guys, definitely stay tuned for that video. Uh, meanwhile, please like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and see you soon. Take care.